I don't know if recording with my iPhone is any better because it's very fuzzy. But I'm gonna try, no matter how strange or fuzzy it is. Here we go, last two story tickets. Stop it! Stop! No more buzzing. I don't know what's up with my iPhone. It could be because of the cracks on my phone, but I don't care. I, I'm gonna do this quick because this is annoying. <clears throat> and the music is not up. So, here we go. Humans take the wheat. Because hostages. I'm gonna reread that. That's, <laughs> he's <laughs> looks fucking angry. Okay. The humans take the weak as hostages. Capture the demons and use them as examples to threaten the others. Threaten. Then, they punish them in ways too horrifying to speak aloud. Humankind's tyrannical oppression and refusal to acknowledge the existence of creatures other than themselves is what will one day destroy this world. That is the future I foresaw. That's what I've decided to put my plan into action so that I can bring humans to justice for their crimes. There isn't a single ounce of uncertainty to be felt in Bradley's words. He has already decided to destroy him in kind. Maybe he's one of those few vampires who survived the human attack. Just as I wondered that. Suddenly, my vision blurs and I'm overcome by a fierce headache. At the same time, an image appears in my mind. It's a rare phenomenon, phenomenon that occurs to me as part of Tatiana's blood as a pre premonition. I, heard I, I hope I read that right. Surrounded by burning flames, I face Bradley, sword in hand. Why? I don't want this to happen. Tears come to my eyes and I shout and protest again and again. This is the way it must be. I've done nothing but horrible things to you. If you truly think so, then stop now. Live with me. You know as well as I do that that's impossible. Akari, I don't... Akari, don't ever forgive me. Hate me. Bradley faintly smiles and then orders me to kill him. I try as hard as I can to disobey, but my body is entirely under the control of his words. Yikes. Still gripping my, gripping my sword, I run straight towards Bradley. Then I pierce his body with my sword. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna make people cry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. But I don't have the money for that, so I gotta go with the earrings. It's so freaking cute. Oh. Oh, no, 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 go back. That with tokens. You D? Okay. Come on. I'm pretty sad. I'm sure I'm going to sound very buzzy in this audio because my iPhone is not very kind. And I'm, it's buzzing for some reason. Here we go. Why? This isn't the future I wanted. At that moment, my body becomes free to move as if Bradley's power over me is broken. I frantically catch Bradley in my arms as he collapses, run through with my sword. 
The blood pouring from his stomach stains my clothes red my clothing red. This is what I wanted. At last. My wish has come true. Is this really your only wish? Was what you said about wanting to be with me a lie? It was true. But I also knew that it was an impossible future. I longed for you knowing it could never be. Once I held you in my arms, I couldn't restrain myself any longer. After he says that, Bradley gently embraces me back, enveloping me in his arms. This is the first time I've seen you cry. All those tears, you never cried. No matter what horror you faced, you now cry for me. You, all the others who stooped on my side, are much too kind. Bradley's voice is unbelievably calm and gentle. No, the kindest one of all is you. What you did was wrong, but your love for those you care about was true. You really are a much better woman. I don't deserve you. The moments I spent with you were the only times during which I forgot my hatred for humans. Bradley! Unfortunately, the time has come. You must leave me. Oh shit, this is gonna hurt. Bradley crosses my back, then Chenley lets me go. Kari, you will escape death even if your magic is activated. This is my final selfish plea. Live. Bradley touches my cheek, his hand slick with butt, slick with blood. Oh gosh, that is hurtful. Ah, uh, but we gotta see till next week. Bye, Shelby Date fans! Oh, I hate the buzzing in this iPhone. I'm glad I'm gonna be recording on the Android. Bye!